Well, hello, everybody. This is Becky here at Aunt Beck's Creations, and we're a little crooked, so let's see if we can. Here we go. Um, this is Montana. She's a white squirrel that Mary had a uh, mind mapping session on, and as Mary was calling out stuff and people were giving her the information, I was just sketching along, and as something clicked with me, I would add it to Montana Squirrel here. And so today I thought I'd just come on and um, kill some time while Scott mows the lawn. He never mows the lawn. So I'm actually getting some free time that I don't normally get because he usually leaves lawn mowing to me. But before we start on Montana, and I'm going to, because of Laura, I'm going to use gel pens. And I pulled out my gel pen drawer um, gel pens is not something I normally go to to color. So this will be a learning curve for me too, because I've never colored with them. I've always just, you know, journaled with them, writ, wrote with them. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Holly. And these cards are the ones I just did with Christy Wainscott and Beth. Um, Beth helped Christy get set up. Christy had her very first live and she did a pick 10 in it and I participated and I had taped off one of my larger sheets, the nine by 12s that I normally do for dirty dozen. And so these cards, you know, they're all different sizes. So they're custom made cards, but I had a lot of fun doing these. Um, I did not add a bird like she had put on there. And then I didn't do the last prompt which was at a quote or something because I already put the hello on it because earlier there was uh, numbers and letters so I just put my message on then so I told them what I was going to do is just add a little splatter and that's what the yellow is so these are the cards I made and these two larger ones one will go to Christy and one will go to Beth and then I'm going to keep one I'm going to keep this one because when I was cutting it out I damaged the bottom so I'll keep that one and then this one, I'm going to um, put in a surprise Happy Meal for somebody. And I'll put some other things in with it and throw it into one of my decorated envelopes and mail it off this next week. I have to put Samantha's envelope together. She won in Friday Night's Live with Mary. I did a kind of a secret hidden within Mary's giveaway. I did a giveaway. And so I, um, Samantha Owens won that one. So I've got... Her envelope is all ready to go. I just need to pack it up, fill it up. So there's Laura. Hi, Laura, the Jersey crafter. And um, hi, Lori. Lori loves Montana. This is Montana, the, the, the squirrel. And she's a white squirrel. So I'm trying to figure out, should I use white gel pens? Because like I said, I'm going to use the gel pens. And I'm just going to pull them out. I was hoping I had a silver for the handlebars on the bicycle. Oh, I do. Well, I think it is. I don't know. I guess I need some scrap paper so I can try these out so I know what I'm getting. And I've got my off cuts from the cards I just did sitting here. And what I can do is try these out and see what I've got. Oh, yeah, that'll be perfect for the handlebars. So I'm going to start with that. We'll get the handlebars decorated up here. And like I said, I've never really colored with gel pens. And my spots and spaces are kind of narrow. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not wanting to work. It was working good there at the beginning. Huh, that's weird. Okay, there we go. What is wrong with this thing? That's weird. And uh, they uh, had said that Montana squirrel here, she goes around visiting people and then she gathers in her, her little journal she takes with her. She gathers all the animal gossip in it. So I I gave her a journal in her basket, and it just says visits on it. So 
that that's what all is happening with all of the locals. It's like the small town I grew up with. There was a lady that she would call each of the families in our little sub community of the t small town I went to school in. And she would find out, you know, who came to visit my grandmother and which of the grandchildren had come. And she had a little column in the newspaper. And, and uh, yeah, that reminded me of that. Hi, Holly and Kendra and Laura and Lori. I think I got everybody. Say hello, Tippy. Oh, Daddy's mowing the lawn. Um, yeah, I was gonna color, dude. He just came home, so hi, Giovanna. Come here, honey. And he killed a rat today. I caught him munching on a rat um, outside the front door. It was gross. So. <sighs> Tippy is, Tippy's here doing his thing. Let's see, the inside of the tire will have a little silver on it. Her spokes come down and I put some of those little color things on her spokes Mary didn't mention those but I thought how fun that would be to put those little you know the things that kids can put on their spokes to decorate them so that's what the little triangle things are so there's her spokes there and it's not the perspective is not you know, 100% perfect, but I'm going to go with it because it's, it was just a sketch I did while Mary was, Mary was talking about it and writing down her, oh, the thought process there, mind mapping. Don't know if she ever told me what color the bicycle was. Um, I don't think I ever saw that last night. This is the other wheel on the other side. Squirrel on a tricycle, yep. Um, I guess the little bracket that comes out to pedal would be silver too, wouldn't it? And then the uh, the foot pad would be kind of black, which it kind of got erased when I was doing. Dang. Buddy, did you miss me today? You've been off on your grand adventure. I'll set that silver aside for a minute. We could give her, um, put some little bit of a bling on everything here. This is a glitter pen. Maybe just on some of the highlighted areas of the silver. You gonna leave me? Am I moving too much? Huh? Am I moving too much? Maybe around her diamonds, I'll put some silver. This is supposed to have kind of a, a blingy thing. She's got a diamond necklace and she's got a diamond ring on. And then she's got her floral overalls. Like I said, I was just kind of adding things as Mary went along. Thanks, Janet. I wish I could get it down closer but I can't. <laughs> this is as close as my uh, controls will let me get. So 
So I might use the gray to kind of do highlights and things on the squirrel, like maybe her arms. Go ahead, Tippy. You can go. And they were saying she had, uh, I think, red nail polish. Is that what they decided? I couldn't remember. So I didn't put the nail polish on. That her ring is there. Her nails come up this way because they wrap around. Didn't really care for her chin much here. Let's see if we can maybe fix that. Red net nail polish, but make it whatever I want. Okay. I love that she had a hat collection. So I gave her the straw hat with a flower on it. Thing about coloring and going live is you get in the zone and you forget to talk. Sorry guys. She's got her little where her whiskers are here. It's Lori's birthday. Happy birthday. If I go over some of the gray with my white, she'll look more white. Plus, this paper is not a true white color. It's more of a ivory, maybe. Remember, she's a white rabbit, not rabbit. Oh, my goodness, a squirrel. But when Laura mentioned the um, gel pens, I said, you know, that's something I never use and i have you can see quite a few of them so i might as well you know pull them out and use them there's a moth or something flying around in here and i figured what i'll do after i get her all colored i'll get my uh little bit of glitter 
glue and put it on her diamonds, on her necklace and her ring. And then that way they'll sparkle. And I'll just set it aside to dry at that point. But since Scott was mowing the lawn, which is my, one of my normal jobs, but he's been working on lawn mowers all afternoon. He was feeling better and felt like he needed to do something. So he went, he fixed two lawn mowers. What he does is at the end of a season, he gets lawn mowers out of the trash and he fixes them and he gives them to people that need a lawn mower. Um, I don't think he's ever sold one. I think he just, you know, if somebody mentions that their lawnmower died or whatever, he offers them a lawnmower. And I, I have a feeling that's something he'll do in his retirement is fix lawnmowers for people. I used to get in so much trouble for using my fingers when I would write. And the teachers would always tell me to um, move my whole arm and not just my fingers. Do y'all ever hear that when you were in school? Use your whole arm, not just your fingers. And in my mind, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Oh, I got a little bit on the handlebar to the bicycle, but that's black. So I'll come back in and fix that in a little bit. But she's looking white. Hi, Christy. I, I showed the cards I made from your pick 10 you did earlier. And I've put them up so well I don't even remember where I put them. Oh. That's what I did with your pick 10. I made four cards. And they're all different sizes because I had to hurry and put my masking tape down without measuring because y'all were already calling the prompts. So you and Beth will get the two big ones and I'm going to keep the one I damaged when I was cutting this one. And this one will go in some surprise happy mail. So I had a lot of fun with y'all this afternoon. And I hope you'll come on and do videos. Um, if you want to go on on your own, you can still go on just by going to webcam on YouTube because that's all I ever use. I haven't tried the StreamYard yet simply because I just don't want to try to learn something else at this moment because everything going on was, you know, working on the house and we need some downtime and I'll, I'll take it on later. I can be on other people's stream yard times if they want me to be, but I just don't want to be a host right now. Does that make sense? It's like, don't ask me to do it. Don't ask me to do it. I don't want to host right now. And then I didn't draw her other boot. You have to pretend the wheel's going so fast you don't see it, okay? <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do any shading down here on her leg. I think this is the silver I was using. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought so. Gel pens are kind of fun to color with. Tippy, stop it. You're being a bad boy. Stop. And Mary, did anybody ever say what color her tricycle was? I asked, but I don't think you saw me ask last night. I was like, I wonder what color her, they would say her bicycles or tricycle should be. if you add a little shading with a gray or a blue if it's I would say with fur I would use gray as my shadow 
but if you were doing like ice cubes or something, I might use a, a light blue for the shadow. And see, now I got to do her tail all fluffy. You were watching an old James Bond. Which one, Mary? Robert Moore and Sean Connery. And then there was that other guy. But the older ones, I think, were better. Pierce Bronze, Bronson was an, the other one, wasn't he? Okay, cool. So I'll make her bike um, pink. <laughs> Tippy, you beastie. Why are you being so naughty? Quit digging on that furniture. You monster. Come here. Hey, what? what do you want? Let me feed him again. He ate a rat and he's still hungry. I don't know if that's what he wanted. No pink, you rebel. Well, what color should her bike, her trike be? This white keeps getting gunked up. Janet says she rebels on a pink tricycle. We could do this, the, um, the standard little red tricycle. thing it might be just going dead I have a bunch of white ones because I like them so much I think this one might be getting near the end of its rope let's see this one might be a little better and this pad I'm using is just the drawing pad that um, um, Norma sent me. So I didn't want to use watercolor. I'll have to look at chat and see what y'all are saying. I see the chat just flying by out the corner of my eye. Oh, her ears. I forgot her ears. Somebody had said she was a ones with the tufted ears. I thought that would be cute, so I added the tufted ears. Okay, 
guess that looks all right. Oh, hi, Mary Hill. The girls' bikes were always blue. Doctor No, that was a good one. Well, that's what I thought. The older ones were almost always red. Tippy's possessed, Lori. He's just been, he ate, he ate a rat this morning, you guys. What are you doing? You looking for dad? He's outside. Doop, doop. Mary wants a gold tricycle. Oh, I forgot about the streamers coming out of the handlebars. See, I had, I was like, I was a kid in the 70s and I had a pink bicycle with monkey bars and a banana seat. Do y'all remember those with the long banana seats and the monkey bars? And mine had a white basket with a pink, a blue, and a yellow flower on the front, those hard plastic flowers. And um, I just love that bike. I rode the daylights out of it until I was really way too big for it. Tippy, honey. Make it gold. All right, let me see if I can do this with the assistant I have just acquired. All right, so that gets her pretty much colored in except her eye. And I'm going to use this black that's got the, the kind of twinkle in it so she can have a twinkle in her eye. And if you leave a little white spot, I might have to go back in with the white. And her nose would be pink, right? I don't think I have another black except the clicky one. And this one's not even been used. It still has the little rubber thing on the tip. Kick me. I forgot to do the um, silver on her fender. Of course, I guess it could be a colored fender. I remember Bernadette's out on the porch in her playpen. I put her up on the porch. A little bit of the black tire showing there. Did you eat too much? You just burped. Are you piggy?
I'll look up here in just a sec. Yep. Why are you jumping? Something after you? Okay, maybe her seat would be black. This is the seat right here. And it needs a little dimension to it. Maybe the top of it, I'll put the same color as her bicycle. Might work out. And then she's got to have her her little petals sticking out here by her cowboy boots. Black on the bottom of the cowboy boots. He's rotten. I haven't inspected him for any wounds or anything today. One time he came home and all of the hair between the bottom pad and his little, I don't know what you call that, his thumb, all of the fur was gone. And it was just a bloody mess. I, it was like he got his paw caught in something and narrowly escaped losing a paw. All right, let's see. What do I want to do next? Got her wheels taken care of. I guess we'll color the bicycle. Look, I could make it something crazy because I have these pens I got from the dollar store. That this one's um, pink, blue, and purple. This one's lime green, purple, and pink. This one's um, neon orange, blue, and lime. There's one more in this set. Oh, oh, yeah, right here. Blue, pink, and orange. So which cap color? Y'all pick a cap color, and I'll use that one for the bicycle. Here comes Scott. Punch Daddy. The blue one. Okay. So her bike's going to be kind of a rainbow of blue, orange, and pink. I was going to say, I don't think I locked it. He's making it difficult to be live. And I think I'm going to do her fender on there in silver. I'm just going to color it in. And then I will come back and do all my lines and stuff again. Colors not want to come out. But you know, I only paid a dollar for these these four pence. So if it doesn't come out great, it doesn't matter. What's that? A quarter a piece for pens? Hopefully my hand is not activating anything at the top.
These are hard to color with. You can tell these are the cheap dollar store ones because this is not flowing very good. And our bike's right here. See, this came down and it went back up to her seat. So, he was misbehaving so bad, I had to go get another can of food open, and then he ate some on that, and now he's back over here sleeping on me. So the wheel's attached to something. If I don't put a little color in there, it'll look like the wheel is floating. There we go. And there used, I think there was a little thing on the back too, but I could be wrong. Let's color the top of her seat the same color. And it's coming out blue. Right. Maybe this part should be this color too. I don't know if y'all can even see this, except because Mr. Goofy is in the middle of everything. Can I put you back in your bedroom? You don't get up on your bed now? Have you owned me enough? You didn't do what? Oh, you didn't move the cars? Okay. I'll bring the um, glittery silver back and do the the little what's it called that goes over the wheel. That's what I thought, Mary. There should be a back piece back here. It's a fender, isn't it? Oh, you know what else needs to be colored black is the little <coughs> handlebars. And then this comes out the back here. No, it's the fender, I think, is what I was talking about. Go crazy, Mary says. All right, I'm going to see if I can transfer the little monster 
real quick here into his bed so I can like bring the picture closer to me so y'all can see it. I'm starting to think that cat is You think he's spoiled, right? I'm starting to think he's getting that one. I'm right here. Scott said he's starting to think this cat is spoiled. I don't know where he's getting it from. All right. I'm afraid to try to put that in now that I've started to color. I'm afraid I'll mess it up, so I'm just going to avoid it. <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's not there. Hers fell off. She she pedaled so fast that the, the back piece fell off. Let's put the little, the black piece that's on the handlebars that's kind of rubberized. It's got the places for your fingers to go. That's what this is. And I think I want to, um, I'm going to come in with the black or should I do, I should probably do a different color than black, um, to do my little highlight areas. Let's use gold. This, this is a good gold. It's got all Chinese writing on it. I can't tell you what brand it is. I got it off of Amazon, but this is an awesome gold. just outlining the pieces of her bike like that oh and down here there we go and maybe we'll do her um her basket is gold maybe or I could do the outlining and with the gold and then come in and fill it in with a yellow. This is neon yellow, so this will be a very yellow basket. I'm just kind of going over the wet gold to make it look more straw-like. Hi, Diana. All right. Oh, I should do her straw hat with the gold, too.
crossy lines like that. Mary, I will, um, I'll make a copy of her and send her to you. Print it off and send it to you with the printer. I'll just scan it. Hey, Chrissy. I was having so much fun sketching along Friday night, and as people would mention stuff, I would add it. So when I posted the in in process picture of her, she was naked. <laughs> Hi, Tony. This is the squirrel from Miss Mary's story from uh, Friday night. This, I think, is a very obnoxious pink. I don't think I want to go that obnoxious. Let's see. Maybe it's a great hunter. He is. I told him he got a rat this morning. I think he's wiped out from his hunting. Let's see. What else do I have? These are hard. The ones from the dollar store, just an FYI, if you pick them up, they don't flow very smoothly. That's the only downside to them. And these are Pen Plus Gear gel ink pens that I got at Walmart before I went on the Walmart hate wagon again. <laughs> Just not doing Walmart anymore. I think somebody else would like to come in. It's Howard. He's had a rough day at the office. Has he? He wants you outside. Well, you in or out, Howard. He says, you come out with me. I want you to sit on this front step and watch people go by with me. Yes, it did. The story just came together. She was such a delightful character, I just had to draw her. I think Scott's tired. He's sounding like the dog when she's aggravated. And all that mess she does when we're driving. When we're traveling back and forth, she just makes the worst noises in the back seat of the truck or the car, whatever we got. She's back there just a huffing and a puffing.
why did I draw so many flowers on her thing? She was suggest uh, this Montana squirrel was suggested by Lori. Is that what you said? Yep. Lori's Montana squirrel. Now I have to go around all these little flowers. And these pens like this I got in a package, so I got two of each color. Well, I saw Tanya post that um, the Wi-Fi where they were in Alabama really stunk, so she was not going to be able to do her live today, which she had worried about that, I know, when she was leaving. And I hope their trip is a safe one. I know Jeff's looking forward to Santa school. Wouldn't it be something if they had to go all the way to the North Pole to go to Santa school? <laughs> that just popped in my head. Don't ask me why. It just did. Oh, the air blowing right on my head is getting to me. I'm ready for fall, you guys. The leaves are starting to fall. They're not very pretty colors because we haven't had any frost to bring the color on. I want to go back up to that observation platform that Scott and I went to last month when the fall colors are in full swing. Hopefully it won't be too crowded when we go up, but I bet it will be. Everybody will be going. If we could get a clear day with all the fall colors in intensity, and we could see up into North Carolina from up there. That'll be quite the show. I even threw some nuts around on the on underneath where she was riding. I saw Suze was listing. Susan was list, listing the things that squirrels actually ate or eat. I know down at our house we had two oak trees and they would hide the acorns. They'd dig holes and bury them like in my flower bed. So I'd always have all these oak trees coming up. And every once in a while they would be out in the front, you know, digging them back up where they buried them. The funniest thing that happened is one time we had a, um, a pair of woodpeckers that were shoving acorns behind the sh um, shutters on the windows. We heard all this noise right there at the front of the house. And he was out there just putting them away. I think Scott went and put up all his toys. I think he might be done for the day. And I wasn't going to stay on, you know, a whole big long amount of time. I just wanted to, I wanted to get her colored in because she's hard to see when she's not colored in. And I could almost kick myself for not just giving her solid. She was just screaming that she likes flowers on her clothes. So I had to put all of these flowers on here but now I have to color around them and then color them all in thankfully coloring them in won't be a problem 
Oh, and I got to do something with her cowboy boots. Well, she'll have to have some purple and red, I think, on her cowboy boots. I think he got overheated. Think the best thing about the gel pens is you don't have to worry about your pencil lines because they kind of just um, disappear when you go over it with the gel pen. I had thought about putting a pencil in her um, basket too, but I didn't do it. So I'm we're going to skip the pencil in her in her basket. Now I think somebody had mentioned that she would be chewing on a straw of some sort. Wheat straw? Is that what y'all said? But I think she's turning out kind of cute. I think it would be fun to illustrate for children's books. I think too many of the books now have, you know, there's nothing wrong with computer um, art. There's nothing wrong with it at all. My niece does it. It's just, I miss the children's books that had all the hand drawings in them. And that looked more sketchy, you know. I guess that's showing your age when you talk about outdated things. Yeah, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Got to do better tonight. Not going to start watching a Netflix series. That Netflix series called Unbelievable. Start it early. If you're going to watch it, start it early in the day. Don't start it in the evening. Because you just, you can't stop watching it. You got to find out if the girl is going to, you know, ever be believed. I won't say how it ends. I'm having trouble seeing these little bits here. Even with trifocals, sometimes I have problems. Okay, I think she's ready to have her fingernails painted. Maybe we'll use that atrocious pink. Yeah, a Netflix series. Let's see. The next one I want to watch is called Tall Girl because I think it'll remind me of my youngest sister. My youngest sister is five foot ten. And um I think it'll be an interesting watch. Let's see. I watched Unbelievable and can't remember the other one. It must not have stuck with me like like that one did. Yeah, I, I finished watching Unbelievable at like 4.30 this morning. 
probably about the time Mary was getting up. I was, <laughs> I was about ready to go to bed. Oh, and I forgot. I gave her a bell. I'm going to paint her bell this pink. And it's got a little tabby thing. Little piece there. Oh, and I forgot to put purple on her cowboy boots. Get that purple back. We'll do some stitching in the cowboy boots here. My cowboy boots need help. But I guess they look okay. I had cowboy boots in high school that had, were cream colored and they had big blue butterflies on the front of them. And I wore the daylights out of those with jeans. I love those things. I think after I got married, I got rid of them. She's got diamonds on her cowboy boots, so we'll leave those, and I'll add some uh, of the glittery stuff to her cowboy boots. She's got pink boots, because I decided she needed pink boots. And I think I'll use this for her flowers. Well, I thought he was wrapping up for the day. and I can hear the lawnmower running out there. He must have decided he didn't want to sit and listen to me talk to you guys. His choice. Oh, I'm about to die for September 20th to get here. I'm going to I'm going to go and see Downton Abbey even if I have to go by myself. Lynn Morris over in UK said it is so good. It's as good as the TV show. And I love that series, so I'm definitely going to go see it. It's about the only thing um I think I'd want to go see at the theater. M most of the movies that are coming out now are just garbage. I just don't think there's, I don't know. There's not very much real talent floating about in the air these these days. And Scott and I were talking about, we don't even recognize these people that um, are on the, the tabloids, the garbage newspapers at the news, at the, at the grocery stores. Scott's like, who's that? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> But, you know, the people that we like to go see, they don't seem to be doing very many movies anymore, like Tom Hanks and and um, John Cusack and all of those. And I haven't seen them in anything lately. People that we would go see are not doing movies, put it that way. And I'm not one for those action movies with all the shooting and things. Oh, Tom Hanks is doing Mr. Rogers. That'll be great. Um, Downton Abbey. Um, no, we watched it online. Um, I can't remember where we watched it now. Oh, Mary, you would love Downton Abbey. I know you would. 
It was so good. I might do some searching for it and see, see if I can find it. If I can find it where you can watch it for free, I will um, send you a link. I'll do that when I get off here. Unless Scott wants to, you know, like run and get a hamburger or something. I made my mother-in-law's recipe for um, chicken pot pie today. And it's on my blog, which is lifeforus.blogspot.com. If you there's a search bar at the top of my blog, if you're looking for a recipe, just go in that search bar and type out what you might be interested in, um, like chicken. Do chicken, you'll get several recipes for chicken. There's a chicken pot pie, and I can't remember chicken chow mein. The chicken chow mein is really good too. I always laugh when I tell y'all about chicken chow mein because. When Scott worked at his previous employer, he took the chicken chow mein in to work. Y'all have probably heard me tell this story before. And they asked him, where'd you get that? And he said, my house. I said, no, no, where'd you get that? He said, my house. My wife made this. And they said, is your wife Chinese? Can I call you back in just a few minutes? All right. Well, I'm live right now, so I'll call you right back. All right. Love you. Bye. Greg. Yeah, they asked if I was Chinese because I made chicken chow mein. And this guy says, you don't have to be Chinese to make chicken chow mein. Anybody can make anything. Scott said he about fell out of his chair when they asked him that. All right. What color should her journal be? She's almost done. I feel like I missed something in the background. I missed little hubcap back here you can barely see it oh and there's her spur let's put her spur there we go I don't know why a rabbit has spurs but she does <laughs> you bought it off public TV All right, what's left, you guys? The acorns? Let's do not pink. Acorns are not pink. Do the cap in this gold. And do the little triangly bits that are on a. Acorn top. So, no live Wednesday night from me. Um, and I'm going to be down at the house until the next Wednesday. Depending on what time I get back up here the following Wednesday, um, I might do live the next week. But we'll see because I don't know what time Greg's going to get back from West Virginia. And I want to make sure I want to make sure he's back before I come back up here. You know, so the animals down there are taken care of. You can tell I was tired when I drew these acorns. I don't know why these are turning out to be that color, but it's all right. That gold is really overpowering.
Greg's got a concert he's going to up in West Virginia, so he's going for the weekend. I'm hoping his friends are going to meet him that are up there in Maryland, but I don't know. I'm not real concerned that I'm not exactly meeting the, the pencil line because you can always erase the pencil. Montana's got her name up in gold lights. So I got to use my gel pens, which I haven't done that in like forever. Now we got to do her book. Let's see. It's not on Netflix. Mary's going to um, fill in for me Wednesday and she'll do the borders and dirty does it. Now she's doing borders, but she's doing her own borders. So I have, um, I've got everything prepped to do borders at some point, but not today. Um, need to spend some time with Scott now that he's done with uh, that. The only thing is I need to color her book in or something here. Let's, um, I don't want to get in that gold. Can I write upside down? This says visits. This is her visits journal in her book, in her, um, her basket on her bicycle. Maybe we'll just leave it white. Oh, I lost the T, but I know what it says. And then there's these are pages. Okay. Um. Maybe I'll do a green journal. This has got bling in it. Oh, I know. On Facebook, they did a synopsis of Downton Abbey that was really good. I don't know if Mary saw that or not. If I can go back and find it, I'll just reshare that synopsis of Downton Abbey and then Mary can decide if she'd really like to see it which I'm, I'm about to guarantee that she would it is that good I, we didn't miss any of them and because we were watching it online we actually were getting it to see it a year before it was released on PBS over here because we'd watch it the day after and I'm wanting to say we watched it like on Stars TV or something like that Okay, guys, that's all I was going to do. I got her colored. There she is. There's Montana, the white squirrel that visits her neighbor, her um, friends and writes down all their gossip. September 20th is when the movie's released here in the United States. So check your locals to see when it's going to be available. All right. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining me for a little coloring session. I've been on for an hour and 15 minutes. And I will draw another character if Mary does um, another. I um, can't remember what it's called. Ideas collecting. Okay, have a good night. Bye-bye.